Good morning and assalamu alaikum. I'm Anam Saad. I'm here with another very interesting lesson. Learning outcome for today's lesson is to know that air is an insulator of heat. Recognize that presence of air spaces within some materials make them good heat insulators. Before we begin, let's discuss what is an insulator. Insulator is a material that does not allow heat to pass through it. A good heat insulator is a poor conductor of heat. The air present around us is also a good heat insulator as it does not let the heat to pass through it. Let's discuss how can we use an insulator to keep anything warm. Think of a situation, for example, in winters, how do woolen clothes keep us warm? Wool is a good heat insulator, which makes it a poor conductor of heat. Wool has air spaces in which it traps air. Wool and this trapped air does not let the heat of the body transfer to the cold surroundings quickly. Another example of good heat insulator can be of feathers on the bodies of birds. Did you ever notice that why do birds fluff up their feathers when they feel cold? It is because feathers are poor conductors of heat. So when the birds feel cold, they use their feathers to make themselves warm. Feathers and the trapped air prevent the heat from their bodies to transfer quickly to the cold surroundings. More examples of good heat insulators can be polystyrene, bubble wrap, fur and double glaze windows. They trap air and can keep things warm and cold for a long time. Now let's perform an experiment to check which material is a good insulator of heat. I'm doing a fair test. So I have five equal sized ice cubes, five equal sized speakers, and the temperature of the surroundings is also the same. All these factors will remain same and I'm just changing one factor that is the material with which beakers are wrapped. This way we measure our observations and results in a more accurate way. The first beaker is not wrapped with any material. The second one is wrapped with paper. The third one is wrapped with cling wrap. The fourth one is wrapped with cotton cloth. And the fifth one is wrapped with the bubble wrap. I have placed the ice cubes in these speakers and I'm going to wait for 10 minutes. And after 10 minutes, we are going to record our observations and see that which of these beakers has the most amount of water and the least amount of water. So we are back after 10 minutes. As you can see in the slide, that the beaker that was not wrapped has 12 ml of water. The beaker that was wrapped with paper has 8 ml of water. The beaker that was wrapped with cling wrap has 9 ml of water. The beaker that was wrapped with cotton has 5 ml of water. And the beaker that was wrapped with bubble wrap has 2 ml of water. So the unwrapped beaker has the most amount of water and the beaker which was wrapped with bubble wrap has the least amount of water. So what do we conclude from this experiment? As you could see in the table on the previous slide, that the beaker wrapped with bubble wrap has the least amount of water. It is because bubble wrap is a good heat insulator. It trapped air and did not let the heat from the outside enter the cold beaker. That is why the ice cube did not melt much and there was less water in that beaker. We could take another set of observations after 30 minutes in order to have more accurate and precise results. It is always good to take repeated observations so that we can get better results. Let's recap what we learned in today's lesson. We learned that air is a good heat insulator. It does not let heat to pass through it quickly. Materials such as wool, feathers, fur, polystyrene, and bubble wrap are good heat insulators. They can be used to keep things warm or cold for a long time. Thank you so much for watching. Allah Hafiz.